What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That means it's Mac Daddy Michael's day. Let's take a look and see what he's got. You guys, come on. Well, it's almost the weekend. Almost there. Thank goodness, huh? And no rain <laughs> yeah. for a change. That is true. So. Well, we got the new colored pocket yeah. pry bar. Got there. a couple of new things in. Got orange now, got green. green. Look at there. Still got the old trusty red ones right there beside you, too. You're moving on up in the world, aren't you? We trying. <laughs> We trying. Them right there were to do good because everybody likes them. So. You gonna hurt old Mr. Joe's feelings. He just come out with the green ones, you know, and had them made himself. <laughs> <laughs> now here y'all come, raining on his parade. And uh, I figured they'll do good because I sold a ton of the red ones and everybody yeah. was saying, do you not have them in orange or do you not have them in green? They so. they need to put that magnet standard on them. That would be pretty cool. That'd be good to go with in. What's doing with all these vice grips? Well, that's a new deal we got in. Um, vice grips for days. Well, they're a new deal. You know how a lot of vice grips are, once you bear down on them, they're hard to get open. Mm -hmm. They're like an easy release with, with all the cam lock stuff they got on them. Yeah. So that's the new vice grips. Yeah, they're like an easy release design on them because you know how a lot of times, a lot of vice grips you bear down on them real hard and then you got to get a screwdriver to pry them loose right. you know and you can just take these and well that's pretty snazzy right there i guess it's in all the cam locking of it but that's funny y'all got new vice grips and snap-on just come out with new vice grips it's like a vice grip brace yeah. now but they got them um, just regular normal vice grips there uh they got a little different arch to them there yeah and then Those also look good. flat jaws mm -hmm. that's even got the mac tools in the end of it so was it a, like a 10 piece set There's no they're all things. individual you know not knowing which ones people want and then i also got some of the bigger ones back here holy cow that's what i'm talking about right there jack <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Man, that right there is the best thing. If you own a welder and you don't own four or five sets of them. Yep. What, what is them running for them big ones? Uh, I got them in a flyer up there. I'll have to look. I don't remember. Um, Those are nice right there. But, I mean, you saw how much I clamped it down and right. just... <laughs> easy peasy. Yeah, I need you to look up the price on them and them like a regular pair. And then we, we also got oh, the yeah, ones with the adjustable. flexible heads on them. Man, them's nice right there. I, saw, I remember seeing them in the flyer now that you yeah, say that, but uh, I don't remember how much they was. All the little ones like this, or just the normal vice grips, I know they're like 49 bucks, no, 34.99. And the big, the big C ones are 49.99. Okay. So that's the deal on there yeah buddy so. i'm gonna have to get a set of them i want a pair of them regular ones and then the a pair of them big ones like them right there mm -hmm. let me get a pair of them and a pair of the them big ones that'll do good well have you sold your the kit with the two impacts and the all for nine ninety nine yet. The, the one that was on sale. The, what was it? Ago. Two impacts and a bit driver. Yeah. I think I got one or two of them left. So I'm thinking about looking at that. I've got another little deal I'm wanting to do and. And that was the high torque impact, wasn't it? The yes. Yes. That's the high torque, 
half so and half three, eighths three eighths there. And then a, what was that, a bit driver? Well, I got a half and three eighths kit. And then I got the half, three eighths, and a bit driver with two batteries and a light. Both of them come with two batteries? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely thinking and about... I got one of the road kits is what I call it, Leah. Yep. That's a nice set right there. That it is. That's a lot of money to invest in them sockets, though, because when you can get the two impact kit plus the bit driver yeah. for the same price. But, I mean, that box itself is, isn't a cheap box either, right. you know. That's a nice set. But it, uh... Put that factory hood, hood prop back yeah. into there. You know you're a tool man when you when you set it up like that. <laughs> well, you boy must not have bought that box. That's still on here. Yeah. I figured he'd have bought it because, man, that thing is sharp. One thing I didn't realize with it at first. Well, the top's, it's locked. I can't reach it. But the bottom drawer goes from here to here. You'd think that's a couple, two oh, different yeah. drawers. That's one deep drawer on the bottom. Cool. I like the way they did the power. You know, the way that whole power, mm -hmm. that tall drawer comes out. That's that's pretty cool the way you they did that. You put your charger in the bottom of it, mm -hmm. and then you still got a power strip in the top. It's pretty nice. What you got there, knee pads? And yeah, a couple different knee pads. That's for them fellers that like to get raises, ain't it? <laughs> I got one shop that... It's a trailer shop, and there's two guys down there that they buy a new set of knee pads every three weeks, like clockwork. Wow. Put them on when they get to work, take them off when they go home. Man. But, I mean, if you work on all those 18-wheeler trailers all the time, mm. crawling around, I mean, I, you can see why. That's true. And you got a lot of them expert socket, uh, universal extensions look good. Yeah. I like that tray too that they come in. You come sell a lot of them? In. Um, I sell a, a set of those probably every three weeks or so. Right. Um, but it's a. Well, oh, the pinless design. It, it's too, a pinless then. design, six sided. You know, and they just they got a real good rotation to them. Hmm, I can see where them would come in handy. They do them in the six inch, half, three eighths, and quarter, and they also got them in the twelve inch, half, three eighths, and quarter. That's a nice set. What uh, have you heard anything back on that multimeter? Not yet. I must be working on it still. Not yet. Yeah, man, you got plenty of expert stuff on here. Yeah. We kind of flip flopped the whole truck around and rearranged and cleaned up and. Reloaded last weekend. I'm some big old three quarter inch ratchets back there. Yeah. Boy, I bet them's high too, being a Mac brand. They aren't that bad. I wouldn't want to have to use one of them. <laughs> you working on some heavy stuff when you got to break one of them out. Boy, that right there is fine. That long extension with this locking like that for doing transmission bell housing bolts. Right there is fine. I got a half to a three eighths that I use, and mm -hmm. man, I like that thing. Had your three eighths universals on it, and go yep. to town. That's nice. These are, is this the USA made sockets here? Yes. And yeah. That's nice, that little old metal box. That, that little in. metal, that they've been making those things forever. I like it. <clears throat> and the nice thing about them is, Hang them on that drawer or roll cart or. Yeah. Yeah. I've got one set of Mac sockets that's in that metal box like that. It's nice. I like it. They're actually on my service truck. 
I got it on my side box. There's a metal divider between them and Hang it, it. it sits right there and it stays fine. I'm trying to decide if I want to get the angled, the ones that's got the little swivel base mm -hmm. on them or the regular. Cause man, that is nice right there. Try to open a pair of them. I mean, it's just. Cause I know the, uh, oh yeah, so easy. easy. I know we have to weld a bunch of trailers, you know, on like, <clears throat> you know, full weather trailers and that expanded metal, man, if you don't have a pair of these, mm -hmm. it sucks working on them things. I like them right there though. I don't know, that expanded metal, the round tips on it might be a little handier. Mm -hmm. That's so nice though. That's a lot better than mashing that um, little old lever down to get them off. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you got to stick another pair in there and pop them loose, <laughs> you them know. Loose. Yeah, but. that's true. I could see where those angled pair would come in handy working on, or you know, holding down some stuff. But I think the original mm -hmm. design would probably work better for what I'm wanting for welding clamping crap together because <laughs> you know if we're working on it somebody else done said nah I ain't messing with that it's a hunk of junk send it over there <laughs> that's the kind of stuff we get to deal with I'm probably <clears throat> I'm definitely just going to get them I might as well go ahead and unlatch them puppies now and I want a pair of them ones like in the top on that flyer too with the big opening on them? yeah Them jokers right there is pretty nice. I just like the the ease functionality of them. Squeezing them apart, or I guess you'd call it prying them open. I yeah. Guess, instead of squeezing them apart. Yeah. Which I guess when it turns into a double negative is what I meant for it to be. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be some grammar Nazi. He'll he'll correct me on that. Got another one of Thor's hammers in. Oh yeah. That's a horse right there. What is that, 60 ounce? Mm-hmm. That's a big one. With the dead blow hammer bundle going on in the fly right now, I mean, they just need one of these to top it off, you know? <laughs> That's true. Well, guys, I guess we're going to turn this thing off and get back in here and get to work. We got to... Old junky pickup in there is going to need some love and care and probably a couple of priors on top of it. All right, guys. Like always, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes are down here. And as always, if you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you click that button. You just press the button. Just click it. Press it. And you're in. Turn the notifications on. That way you'll see the newest, latest, greatest video that we have to offer you. You guys have a great week. Later.